Today, power will be back on for 98% of the 2 million people in the state who were part of the shutoffs for wildfire risks. Here at home, hundreds of people in the East County got their power back on last night. Misty Knight says she was able to prepare for this power shutoff. She stocked up on water and dog food, hoping that whatever was in her fridge wouldn't go bad during the 22 hours she was without power. But she said she was happy to comply to help. To prevent uh, wildfires, sure. Yeah, I'll do anything to help them. In the meantime, some store owners we talked to were frustrated by the power shutoff, saying that they were losing business and in some cases, some of their product as well. Now we have a list of the four steps that you can take to make sure that you and your home are prepared for a wildfire. You can find that list at 10news.com right on our website. Just click on the red button.